I get millions, tons of requests to talk about my electric bike. I made that up, I didn't get anything. One guy asked me, how did I build my bicycle? Anyway, I wanna talk to you about my expensive electric bike, the one that I built just under $2,000. And the first question comes in mind, is it worth it? Well, most people will tell you that for $2,000, you'd have to be soft in the head to get a bicycle instead of a car that is more reliable. It will drive you in the rain. It might rain and I might get wet. The bicycle will be, will be fine, but I won't. I think it's worth the money you spend on the bicycle. I fed this bicycle for two and a half years. No maintenance required at all, except you have to change the brake pad. So it works really well on the highway, but off-road here in the jungle, it has a lot of drawbacks. And one of the drawbacks is the skinny front tire. This tire is not designed for such a heavy bicycle like this one. Another drawback is the back tire, which looks like a Formula One car's tire. This is not designed for off-road. Another, um, another drawback is that if you consider getting one of these bikes, and if you live in the city, you better, you better watch one of the Casey Neistat videos about stealing uh, bikes. Wood busted. I live, uh, I live on the beach, and between me and the and the bike is this thing. It's a five dollar um, lock. I don't think this lock will help when if you live in the in the in the city. And yes, you heard me right. Between me and the two thousand dollar bicycle uh, sits this five dollar um, lock. You better have a garage or something uh, bigger than this if you live in the city. It's heavier than a dirt bike. It's heavier than a dirt bike. It's like a motorcycle. It means it's heavier than a motorcycle. Yes, it's So if you're like me and you're trying to reduce all this money squeezed from this government plankton or you just want to have fun riding the bicycle, don't buy it off the shelf. Built it. It's so much fun. You don't have to live in California to get uh, one of these electric bikes. Yes, it's expensive only if you buy it off the shelf. And today I'm going to show you exactly what you need to build it yourself. And uh, yes, I'll put all the links in the, in the description below. I forgot, I forgot to mention is that you don't really have to reinvent anything. It's really easy to build. You just have to get the details for it. And now I'll show, I'll show you what's inside. So what I have here is the, the battery and the controller. I didn't want to put the controller underneath the bicycle because it gets wet and all the wires and everything. I don't I just don't like it. But the the stripes are for the for this metal plate so it doesn't touch the metal. It's an 82 volt battery. Normally normally you don't really have all this space inside because you want this compartment filled with the batteries. I didn't want to make the bicycle too heavy. This is the controller I got. You see all the details on the top. I'll make sure to put all them in the description. 